So today our presentation is on how to use your phone as hotspot and also a little intro to like the portable hotspot. So what is a personal hotspot? A hotspot is an internet access point that can be set up on a device and used by other devices in, to connect to the internet. A hotspot essentially works as a portable Wi-Fi router, which is good because your phone, you take it everywhere with you, so it works. So using a hotspot, hotspots can be created using your phone or other device with a data plan. Portable hotspots that use their own data plan can also be bought to get access to internet on the go. Portable internet hotspots, which is shown on the right. Portable hotspots can run on a paid data plan. Hotspots can be brought on a pay as you go plan or prepay plan. Portable hotspots are great if you consistently use internet on a computer or tablet outside the range of regular Wi-Fi. Buying a portable hotspot, if you're interested in purchasing a personal hotspot, this wire cutter article is a great place to start and we can go ahead and send you guys the, um, the link with the slides. So creating a hotspot on your device. If you do not need to use internet on the go regularly, you may be better off just using your personal hotspot set up by using your cell phone. So it should be in your like emoticons when you slide up on your phone. So can my device be a hotspot? Hotspots can be created on most devices that have an internet connection. Hotspots are mostly commonly created on smartphones with a data plan when Wi-Fi is not available. So hotspot security. Hotspots can be a safe alternative to connecting to public Wi-Fi networks. The main risk of setting up a personal hotspot is that others within your vicinity can connect to the network you set up. To prevent this from happening, you can create a password to protect your hotspot. That way it's not public, it's just so you can use it. So creating a hotspot on your iPhone. If you are an iPhone user, the first step for creating a hotspot is to go to your settings app. And then within your settings, you should see the personal hotspot section. And if it doesn't show up, you can always search it in the search bar at the top. So creating a hotspot. Uh, when, you <laughs> when you click on the personal hotspot section, you will have the option to turn your hotspot on by flipping the switch. It will turn green once it's on and create a password for your hotspot network. And it's not, you should memorize it, but it's not something you need to because it'll always show up on your on your phone so that only you have it. And um, other people can also use it if you allow them to like have the password. Um, so once the hotspot is turned on, other devices will be able to join the network. Other devices can be connected to this hotspot via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or a USB cable. Um, note that if you are trying to hotspot using another Apple product that is signed to the same Apple ID, you do not need to turn on the hotspot to join. You can simply go to your Wi-Fi options and look for it under personal hotspots. Like for me, when I connect to my iPad, it automatically turns on my iPhone hotspots if I need Wi-Fi. So that's really like quick. If you're not connecting using a synced device, you can go to your Wi-Fi settings and you will see the hotspot listed under your available network. The symbol, like those two chains linked together indicates it is a hotspot network. So to create a hotspot using an Android device, you will need to go to your settings. Note that this may vary slightly across different Android devices. Next, you'll go to the network and internet section of your settings. Then go to hotspot and tethering. From here, you can select between using a USB tether or a Bluetooth tether. USB will require you to plug it in between both devices and Bluetooth will require you to connect to the hotspot as a Wi-Fi network. So lastly, if you choose to connect using Bluetooth, you will have to set up a password for the network. You also decide to, to set the hotspot to automatically turn off if no devices are connected to it. So using a hotspot of a mobile device can be significantly slower than using Wi-Fi or a portable hotspot device. If you are only hotspotting to do simple tasks, for example, they're like 
checking your email or checking social media won't matter much. But if you plan to stream audio or video, you will want a faster connection. So when I use like my phone for hotspot, I try not to be on my phone because like when I'm using my iPad and it's connected to the hotspot, it gets slower because they're just using the same internet data. So just use like one device at a time, if anything. Because other than that, it works smoothly. So hotspotting off your phone can get pricey if you do not have an unlimited data plan because hotspotting uses more data than would be used by doing the same action on the device being hotspotted off of. So be cautious when using hotspots if you do not have a large data plan. So live demonstration. I can actually go ahead and show you guys like mine. It'll connect automatically. Right now I'm on my school's Wi-Fi, so I don't want to disconnect, but I can show you where it's at. So right here where it says iPad, my, my phone is like, it's labeled iPad, but that's where it is. You can see like the whole connection and everything. If I were to click that, it automatically just turn on on my phone. I wouldn't have to go get my phone. It would just like automatically connect, but I don't want to do that because then I might disconnect from the Zoom. So that's pretty much where I would go. So yeah, just settings here. And if it doesn't pop up, you can always search it like at the very top under where it says settings. So other than that, yeah, if anyone has any questions, we can go ahead and discuss that in the, in the breakout rooms. <laughs>